Hello, I'm Adam Barillet of Crystal Connections and welcome to the continuance of our series looking at the different zodiac signs and crystals and oils to use for them. The reason I wanted to do this series is I find there's a lot of literature out there that will just talk about one crystal or a couple of crystals or a couple of oils that kind of resonate with the energy of a Scorp of Scorpio or any of the signs. Today we are exploring Scorpio, of course. The challenge with that is what happens is Scorpio sometimes can have a bit too much of their Scorpio energy and not enough, and we need to balance that. So we're going to look at ways that we can bring out their good traits, get rid of their destructive traits, and bring them into balance. So what do we know about Scorpio? Scorpios are one of the three water signs, so they can be quite emotional. But this is not emotions that are normally up on the surface. They tend to brew deep down below. And so Scorpios will keep a lot to themselves. One thing I love about Scorpios is their loyalty. They are very loyal and they're very passionate about those things that are important to us, such as their friends and their close family. They will kill someone in order to protect their family. However, if that loyalty or that trust is betrayed, the, the grudge is created and it is very, very hard to remove. They don't forgive and forget very easily. But the amazing thing about Scorpios is with all this passion, when they're passionate about something, they have the ability to move mountains. They're very much, I'd say they're up there on the passion scale, up there with Leos. However, a Leo will only do something if there's a spotlight in an opening ceremony. Scorpio does not want anything to do with that. They'd rather be directing the show and in the background and the shadows and just doing it without all the rah-rah, the pomp and the ceremony. So let's look at some different crystals and essential oils that we can use to bring and balance out that Scorpio energy. So the first one, I think works ideally with Scorpio's energy, is called Libyan Desert Glass. Now what on earth is this? You may have heard of Moldavite, which was created when a, um, a meteor crashed into the Czech Republic and fused with the earth, and so we get this kind of natural glass, which is half stardust and half dirt. How cool is that? Now, this was created in the very same way. However, this is a fusion of desert sand and um, stardust found in the Libyan desert. So you can imagine in that big impact how powerful that would have been, um, and so much energy is contained within this. I call this the tektite. That's what the general form of these natural glasses are called, the tektite of the silent warrior. It's really good for motivation and passion and finding that will and strength within to get off the couch and go and make a change. And so it works really powerfully with that Scorpio energy. The next one that I really like also has a very magician or kind of alchemical kind of um, properties to it. And it's called cinnabar. So here's a raw piece of cinnabar. And that, you can see the bright red of that, beautiful the red there, that's cinnabar as well. Now cinnabar is actually one of the most toxic chemicals in the world. It's mercury sulphide. Now if I was to start licking or eating the, um, the cinnabar, I'd have a real adverse reaction. And any crystal that would cause an adverse reaction to us physically, also energetically helps to raise energy. It can really help to raise that Scorpio passion and to help them pursue things that they're really passionate about um, and... Um, that they can get excited about. Oh cool, Stacey, Stacey made it. Glad to have you here, Stacey. <laughs> so Cinnabar is a really good one for bringing up that Scorpio passion as well. Now we want to focus that um, Scorpio energy as well. And a crystal that I love for that is Petersite. So here is Petersite, it can come in blues. It's a bit of red, it kind of has this sheen, especially you can see on here, a bit of a sheen like Tiger's Eye. And you can also get it in gold as well. And sometimes the three colours are all dancing together in the same stone, which is absolutely magnificent. Now, if you caught my live that I did late on Saturday night, I was talking about lightning and cleansing different crystals with lightning. And Petersite is one of those premier crystals I like to cleanse with lightning because the energies really resonate. Lightning is very powerful and also very direct, as is the Scorpio energy. So as is petersite, they all tie in really well together. When we think about lightning hit the, hitting the earth, it doesn't come down and go, oh, where shall I hit? It's like, bam, there we go. It knows where it's hitting and it has that sheer power. Petersite helps you, it stops you getting distracted, it helps you stay focused, um, stops you little petty things pulling you off track. And so for um, Scorpios, with that passionate energy, this is really good for helping them not get too emotionally upset about something. You know, they're focusing on something, they're working, and then someone makes a silly snide comment and really drags them down. Peter Sight can be great for keeping them on track in that type of way. Now the other great thing, because of this kind of mysticism of Scorpios, they have a real magnetism about them. I, 
I'm really drawn to that kind of Scorpio mystery. Now this can work in their favour and how they can attract abundance and success in their life is not relying so much on projective energy where they go out and hunt things down like maybe a Leo or something might do, but they can just use their natural innate allure. A crystal that really helps with that is black onyx. Now, black onyx is actually um, associated with Aphrodite or Venus, and there was a myth that said she was resting in her bed one day, and Eros or Cupid, her son, with a little arrow, started pricking off her nails. The fates or the other gods didn't want any part of her to perish, so they turned those nails into stone. They turned them into onyx, and onyx comes from the Latin word meaning onyx, which is fingernail. Doesn't sound too glamorous anymore, does it? But as we know, Aphrodite and Venus did not sit there and chase down the men they wanted. They just laid there and they waited for that that they deserved to come. And so Onyx is very much it helps you to attract what you want. Very much to, connected with that kind of spider energy, weaving your web and allowing people to get caught in it as, as you desire. So crystals are absolutely amazing to work with um, for Scorpio energy, but we can also bring in essential oils, diffusing them, aromatically dressing in them. If you've got a great therapeutic brand like doTERRA, the one I love, you can actually include them in your cooking, and we run cooking classes around Australia and other parts of the world showing you how to cook with your oils. And I love cooking according to the star signs. So what can we cook with to bring up a bit of Scorpio energy and balance a bit of Scorpio energy? The first one is cardamom. Cardamom is a really great one. I love to put it in smoothies. It's nice in cakes and banana breads and different things like that. You only need one or two drops in this little drop. There's 85 drops in that and you only need one or two to get the real flavouring of it. But what I love about cardamom is cardamom is really good for helping you to direct passion. Have a think about the moment. Do you think that passion and anger are the same things? I believe they're both the same fiery energies. It's just passion has an outlet and anger does not. And so it builds into frustration and all that type of thing. Cardamom helps to raise passion. It's very good for bedroom mixes and blends. And it, really, and it helps you to direct that passion into constructive ways. And so this is a really great one to use for Scorpios when they're getting a bit bent up. Um, or pent up, sorry. And angry and they don't know what to do with that passion. Or if they're lacking passion, cardamom can be really good as well. Now, as I mentioned before, Scorpios are very, they like to keep to themselves. They don't like to be the centre of attention. And sometimes they'll end up um, being a bit too closed. If they're a bit too closed, another great cooking oil that I'd recommend for them is black pepper. Black pepper helps to unveil the masks and facades that we feel we need to put on to, because we're scared of showing who we truly are and being authentic to the world. So this can be a nice one for Scorpios to use in their cooking or in their diffuser or in aromatic dressing. Another one that I really like to recommend for Scorpios, it works really well with that Peter site that we were talking about before, is basil. Our ancestors used to say that basil helps to put a scorpion in the mind. So I like to anoint it on my third eye chakra to help me focus. Whoever meditates sometimes and you're kind of sitting there going, oh, this is all very nice for a couple of minutes and focusing on your breath. And then you start to wonder, what you should have for dinner. Did I pay the credit card? And all these little thoughts start coming in. Well, basil helps to focus the mind and get rid of that monkey mind. And so it can be a really good one for focusing in everyday life, but also in meditation as well. The final one that I'm gonna recommend for Scorpio is Jasmine. And Jasmine has this beautiful allure to it. It really helps to seduce and attract people into your life. Uh, putting a drop in as you say a prayer and allowing it to evaporate off your hands, it will evaporate quite quickly, actually helps to carry your prayers up to the gods. So for um, Scorpio, it can really help them to bring and manifest what they want in their lives, whether it be a lover, or financial abundance, or just an opportunity, or whatever they want, this is quite good. Being quite a high vibration oil as well, Scorpios tend to be quite spiritual and love to have, you know, really um, ex extraordinary, transcendental experiences, and Jasmine helps to induce that, especially if it's worked with over a period of time. So Jasmine's a really great one. Now, just a little side note, if you're interested in this Jasmine, this is one of the most precious divine Jasmines in the world that I've ever had the experience of working with in my over 20 years of working with essential oils. And doTERRA is actually giving it away at the moment. If you want to know more about that, send me a message afterwards on Facebook, and I can let you know all about how to get this, which is worth about $350 for free. So, 
These are some essential oils and these are some crystals that you can work with. And I've been sharing as well a different angel that you can call on because each star sign has a guardian angel. The guardian angel of Scorpio is Barbiel. B-A-R-B-I-E-L. Barbiel. It's kind of Barbie. It is. It's Barbie with an L on the end. Didn't think of that. <laughs> so Barbiel. Now Barbiel really helps um, people to direct their passions in the right way. So anyone can call upon Barbiel, but it's specially designed and great for supporting Scorpios. Directing their passion, but also the complexities of these emotions that are happening within Scorpios. And sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming and they don't know how to act. Barbio helps them to understand these emotions and find positive ways to express them that aren't going to be detrimental to relationships that they're in, whether that be romantic or otherwise. Uh, uh, Stacey would like more information about the Jasmine offer. Send me a message, Stacey, if I can't find you afterwards, and I'll let you know all the details. So, Barbio is really good for you to work upon, for you to work with, um, and bringing in these essential oils and these crystals and all these things together can help to balance out that Scorpio energy. Now, one fascinating thing about Scorpios, did you know that regardless of whether that is your star sign or not, you have an aspect of Scorpio in you. Scorpio is in your birth chart, and you may have a lot of Scorpio energy, or not too much Scorpio energy, and we really need to balance this. So everyone needs to balance their Scorpio energy, not just the Scorpios. How do you do this? Well, I'm actually running an online course. It's a six-month course. Vicky, who joined us a little while ago, she's doing the course at the moment. Um, it's a six-month course, and I show you how to interpret your birth chart, how to understand the balance of all the different um, all the different signs in your chart are, and how to use crystals and essential oils to balance them. We don't just look at that. That's just one module. Some of the other modules in there, we go through the basics of working with crystals, cleansing and programming, the basics of essential oils, how we can use them aromatically, topically, internally, uh, dilution, all those different types of safety uses. We go through chakras, and I introduce my 21 crystal and oil chakra balancing pro, uh, system, which is really quite effective. Um, we'll always, I find it gets people's chakras all in balance within 20 minutes. We do the astrology, we do Lemurian healing, connecting with mythical beings such as dragons, fairies, mermaids, gnomes, unicorns and so on, uh, how to build crystal grids, how to manifest things and a whole lot of more. So if you'd like to know more about that, I'm going to pop the link in this um, video straight after I finish yapping on. Um, and please join me tomorrow when we're going to jump onto our next star sign, Sagittarius. Now, Vicky just asked the question, what was the other bottle that I, that I showed? Um, first of all, I was talking about cardamom, then black pepper, then basil, and then jasmine are the four oils that I recommend are really, really great for Scorpio energy and balancing that Scorpio energy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll be back at exactly the same time tomorrow to explore crystals and essential oils for Sagittarius. My name is Adam Barillet from Crystal Connection, and blessed be. Have a great evening.